is now in mourning tonight after a professor was shot and killed on campus of U of A yesterday. We're remembering the life of Professor Thomas Meixner. News for Tucson's Eric Fink spent the day talking with friends of Meixner. He joins us live on campus with more. What did you learn today, Eric? Well, Sean, Monica, tonight the makeshift memorial outside Tom Meixner's office building continuing to grow. We are seeing flowers and candles and notes of love and thanks. The one word that we continue to hear today when we ask people to describe Tom Meixner was beloved, a beloved husband, a beloved father, a beloved professor, whose wife and two boys were his pride and joy. Thomas Meixner was a beloved husband, father, and professor. The memorial outside his office building on campus grew steadily throughout the day Thursday as friends, colleagues, and students feeling immense pain and sorrow. I'm probably the way the rest of the community is. We're shocked. Yeah, I know we're kind of outraged with another senseless murder. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to us. We're just grieving, especially for Brendan and Sean and, his, and their mom. Mike Urbanski is an assistant principal at South Point Catholic. Both of Meixner's sons are Lancers. Sean graduated a couple of years ago. Brendan is a senior on the cross country team. Michael Urbanski is a friend and teammate of Brendan's. Meixner was always there, a constant in his boy's life, always bursting with pride for his family. My heart just broke. I felt so bad for the family and for Brendan. He's just, he's the nicest guy in the world, and for that to happen to him, it's terrible. I'll remember him as Brendan's dad, uh, dad of the team, and somebody who I would see at a uh, competition and who was always cheering us on. We were in Phoenix last weekend for a cross-country meet, and I was kind of at the same spot on the cross-country course, just watching him burst with pride as his son Brendan ran by having a personal best in that race. Colleagues shared loving thoughts on social media finding some words through their grief. Dr. Jennifer McIntosh, a professor in the hydrology department with Meixner, writing on Twitter, I have no words, only sobbing. Thank you to our supportive community for reaching out. The loss is immense, especially for his family. I just can't look at his smiling picture, as that was the grin he gave me, talking about hydrology and teaching only a few hours earlier. Life's very short, you know, like we, um, I mean, we see people a lot and we have um, really strong relationships with most people, but um, it just takes one time, just one instance, and then that's it. So we got to um, definitely be strong and definitely be um, there to support the others. Mike Urbanski says Tom Meixner provided such a great foundation for his children. We just want to remember what a great role model he was for his sons. I think maybe that's how he would want to be remembered, that he, uh, he raised them to be great young men of, of strong character, and I, I think that because of that, they are resilient and they will persevere through this. And I think that example that he set for them is going to help them get through this. And back out here live tonight, Mike Sner's death hitting the world of academia extremely hard tonight. And that is beyond Tucson. We saw a tweet from a professor at UC Riverside. That's about an hour east of Los Angeles. She's in the hydrology department there. Tom Meixner was her PhD advisor and mentor. Very clear that he had a huge impact on many, many lives. We're live tonight at the University of Arizona. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.